Why you care about them? Because they we all on. Ain't nobody separated, bro. Ain't nobody separated. All nations, all nations. When all, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna come with all nations. They ain't say you want the Israelites. When give me, people, give me Matthew 15, 24. I want you to listen to this and listen to it carefully. Matthew 15, 24. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he said he's not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Give me Revelation 21. Revelation 21 and 12. Jesus Christ said he's not sent for to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, Revelation 21 and 12 is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Let's see what it says. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven is for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now what we have to do as a people, what we have to do as a people is find out who the children of Israel are. Because if the kingdom of heaven is for the children of Israel, then we need to know who those people are. Right. And the way we find out who those people are, Deuteronomy 28, 46. I'm, I'm saying this last thing, I'm leaving open. God, God does not look at the outer appearance. He looks at the heart. So God don't look at the outer appearance. Yeah, he looks at, at the, the heart. heart. That's all I got to see. Y'all yeah, think about that. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. The curses in Deuteronomy 28 are going to be for a sign and for a wonder. We have to wonder why a certain group of people are in the conditions that they are in. Why they are in a, in a cursed condition. Why they in the worst parts of the city. Why are they in the jailhouses. Why are these certain group of people in the position that they are in? Give me verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all the curses of God will come upon this certain group of people if they did not keep the commandments. And they will be upon these people for a sign and a wonder. A sign identifies something. Y'all know this cage of seafood because of the sign. Y'all know that's every dollar because of the sign. So how do we know who the children of Israel are? The signs that's in the Bible. The conditions that we are in. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 22. Verse 22. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning. So it says the Lord is going to smite these people with inflammation and an extreme burning. That's talking about STDs. The Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are number one in contracting STDs because y'all out here having unprotected sex outside of marriage. Read. And with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew. That's right, and with the sword, and with blasting. That's talking about weapons. Blasting is talking about gunfire. I know somebody just got shot over there the other night. Somebody just claimed they got shot back here just a few minutes ago. Black on black violence is at an all-time high in our communities. And these are curses that will be signs of who the children of Israel are. Read. And with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. It says, and with mildew. Some of these older houses, some of the projects, was filled with nothing but mildew and decay and destruction. That's what's going on in our community. That's what's going on in the hood. That's what's going on in the hood. That's how we know we in the right spot. That's how we know we came to the right people. Give me verse 37. Verse 37, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. It says you'll be a proverb and a byword. A proverb is a nigga love chicken and watermelon. A proverb is a nigga love seafood. That's why they put the seafood store right here where y'all at. A byword is y'all being called niggas, being called African Americans, being called anything but a child of God, which is an Israelite. Yeah, right? Read. Among all nations, 
whether the Lord shall lead you. They said you have been astonishment among all nations. They look at y'all and shake their head. They put y'all in human zoos. They still do the same thing now. They got these tour buses riding around the city looking at the niggas in the hood. It's high time y'all wake the hell up. Y'all older men need to wake the hell up. Stop drinking all the cat dog on day. Give me verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore, should thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord should send against thee, in hunger and in thirst. It says we will serve our enemies in hunger and in thirst. You got to go to cages. Cages ain't run by your people. Family Dollar ain't run by your people. City trains ain't run by your people. That save a lot ain't run by your people. Bring it we, and in nakedness. And in nakedness. The clothes on your back don't have your people name on it. Your clothes say made in China. Read. In, the in the of, of all things. Because I'm in the same conditions you in. That's why I'm trying to get the hell up out of them by waking your ass up. That's Read. Right. And in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. We had yokes of iron upon that neck until 1863 when we so-called got freed by Abraham Lincoln who didn't really free us because we still in slavery. We still in slavery, and y'all need to wake the hell up. Y'all need to stop selling drugs to each other. Y'all need to stop hating each other out here. Right. Give me Jose 411. Because y'all gonna stop this out here. That's why we out here. Because y'all need this. This is the love y'all need. This is what y'all looking for. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, ain't none of them gonna do what we doing for y'all. Read. The book of the Lord. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Here's the word of the Lord. The children of Israel, for the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, by swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery. Adultery, lying, stealing, and killing all goes on in this community, and God said he got a problem with y'all for that. Y'all need to repent. That's the message. Repent, keep God's commandments. Y'all are the greatest people on the face of this earth and y'all need to wake up and live that way. It's high time that y'all wake up and live that way. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.